It's, it's, clean, isn't it? it's a beauty, isn't it? I'll be looked after. Try to get around so I'm not getting anybody else in the shot. Big cue there to get under the foot plate. Right. And we'll have a look inside. That's actually just a replica of the rocket because um, it's on show at the Discovery Museum in Newcastle which I'll probably do a video at a later date as um, I'm hoping to get up there. I don't think it'll, it'll see it or not, but there's a very aptly named Green Arrow. Any DC fans out there? I know. So this be here all the time then? Well they keep, they keep changing them around, they'll, they'll maybe just bring this one up here for a few months and then um, like swap the exhibits around with York because obviously York's got the main railway museum and um, thankfully they built this so we had something up here No smoking today, YTPC. I think I'd get uh, my head kicked in if I did try to do that in here. Another one built by Timothy Hackworth. And your head get blown around a little bit if you try to ride on that one. It's a pretty good museum, this, because they have a lot of exhibitions on. Uh, me and Karen came here in November last year because they had Tim Peake's Soyuz capsule. Well, obviously, he'd come down from the International Space Station, and which was uh, pretty cool because you don't realise how small those things are. And, it's, you know, it's, it is literally just a tin can with a heat shield. But, um, yeah, it's a pretty good place. I mean, it's free. I mean, you usually put a, a donation in when we come in, and um, it's, it's, it's on our doorstep. So, again, it's just a nice little place to pop to and spend a few hours and have a look around.
This is one of my favourites, this one here, the snowplow. I bet that was some sight when it was blasting down the, the train track and putting an avalanche on either side as it went past. They do a lot of restoration in here as well. Um, might be able to get to see some, some at the back. Smile. <laughs> oh, you will. I know, because they still, they still use them. Looks like they've got um, an exhibition on of the model railways. So we can get a look at it when, when we come up. This is actually the carriage that they used to transport Winston Churchill's coffin when he died. Um, I think they just came across it by pure chance and then they realised what it was. It got put in for restoration and um, obviously rebuilt and repainted. Um, it's just your, your basic Royal Mail cattle car really. That's the first private car to drive up the M1. Wouldn't like to drive up it now. And speaking of Winston Churchill, this is the train that's named after him. My dad would have been in his element. <laughs> he loved his trains. Yeah. I'll just be picking about.
Yeah, like I say, they have some pretty good exhibitions on here quite regularly. They have um, the old classic cars shows here. Uh, like I said, they had Tim Peake's Soyuz capsule. And um, obviously we've got the, the Flying Scotsman here for the next couple of weeks. And um, yeah, it's a pretty good place. Like I say, it's not, not a lot you get that's free these days. Right, I'm going to end this one here because I'm up to 10 minutes. And um, I'll speak to you again in a moment. Bye for now.